Day number six of the 30 day fishing challenge. I'm gonna be doing some pond fishing today with Rob. We are out in Loudoun County, We're going to be fishing this beautiful, beautiful pond full of huge fish. Hopefully we can get on them. Got him? First cast <laughs> on the drop shot. It's a hog. H A W G hog. <laughs> Where's <it going? laughs> Wow. And he proves that this spot is the honey hole. Little baby. <laughs> Tell mom. Tell mom, big daddy's here. Hit him. Number two. Nice. We're headed the wrong direction inside. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Like yeah. Rob and I moved a little bit closer to the spillway. He says it's a little bit deeper on this side. What are you thinking, Rob? What are we gonna do? I'm gonna drop shot. Drop shot it is. Just missed a fish on this black zoom trick worm with 316 ounce VMC shaky head. He hit it on the fall. Didn't want to hold on to it though. Kind of a bad hook set. I wasn't paying much attention to be honest. See if he'll hit it again. There it is. Got the skunk off. It's good. On the black zoom trick worm. Got him? Sweet. On the blade. <laughs> Little one pounder on the spinner bait. Chartreuse and white. Gold blade. Gherkin spinnerbait. A gherkin spinnerbait. You guys should look those up. They're some of the best. But they're gone. But they're gone. <laughs> if you can find them, drop me a comment because I'll buy them. You alright? Huh? You alright? Oh, I'm making sure it wasn't your back. Oh, I just missed one on the jig. It was a baby. It came up and threw it. So when I fish a shaky head, I'm virtually fishing a Texas rig with a little bit of a variety to it. I make a long cast to let it sink all the way to the bottom on a slack line, of course. And I'll pull up to it really slowly and look for any line movement. And I'll start dragging it a little bit. I'll let it sit. I'll also shake it in place. Make the head just pop like that. Barely move the tail. And then pause. There are some huge carp like right in front of me. I think a common misconception when people are fishing shaky heads is that you constantly need to be moving this bait. That is not true. Personally, I find that I get most of my bites when I'm shaking it, shaking it, shaking it, and then pause. And they'll bite it. You reel down to it, you'll either see your line moving, or you'll just feel the bite. <clears throat> there we go. All right, it's a little guy. I can take my sunglasses off so the ladies can see the eye color. Oh yeah. You know that's key. Of course. Oh. Color is key. It's a tough day. Actually, it's not that tough. Rob's caught like 12 fish. But 
none worth really getting excited about yet. So we've drop shotted, shaky head, spinner baited, whopper plopper, buzz baited, jig, jigged, wacky rig. Nothing big yet. No. We've got plenty of fish though. Well, drop shots for suckers. <laughs> Look at Aaron Martin's. It's not like he makes a living doing it. Pond number two. We're in Leesburg, Virginia. This one looks very shallow. Tons of grass or something similar to grass. I haven't seen any fish walking around here. I'm gonna throw a jig. So this is that grass that's sitting on top. They're like balls of hair, They're like fur balls. It's the weirdest stuff I've ever seen. Pond number two was a bust, so we moved down the road a little bit. We're gonna be fishing an old farm pond. The water looks a little bit stained. There is hydrilla. Hopefully we can catch some fish. All right, so we're calling it a day here at pond number three. Didn't catch anything, no bites, it was really rough. I'm gonna go home, edit today's video, post yesterday's video, and then get ready for Briary Creek with one rod, one reel tomorrow. Robert? It was incredible, I'll tell you that. It uh, got a lot of fish, a lot of, a lot of mad size fish, not my <laughs> size, so if that tells you anything. It's a good day, thanks for taking me out. All right.